Let's go! Wow! <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most conscientious show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, I'm with my green co-host, Graydon. What the? I am green. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and we are lucky enough to once again be joined by our friend, content creator, singer, songwriter, and man of the people, Nick is not green. Singer, songwriter? I guess I'm a man with many hats. One of them being this one. You guys have hats too, so it's not... That, that joke doesn't make a lot of sense. Where are the chicken wings at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta watch all the episodes to get that one. So you may have seen our Starting Fives videos, where we spin randomizers and make fictional basketball teams. Today, we're casting movies. So first, we're gonna spin a randomizer for a genre. Ooh. Then we're gonna spin a randomizer, loaded first with rappers, and we're gonna put them in five different positions. Director, lead role, supporting role, love interest, and villain. Ooh, I love this. You guys are so smart. Oh my gosh, this is a great idea. And three categories. Ugh, yeah. I'm so pumped for this video. <clears throat> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also got a collection over on Cope's website. It's linked in the description. It's on the screen. And our Patreon and Cameo are linked in the description. If you'd like to support us, thank you to everybody who does. We love you. Also, make sure you subscribe <laughs> to all of Nick's many channels on YouTube. They are linked Woo! in the description too. Yes, they are. Fishing channel, hunting channel, recycling channel. What can you do? Have an emotional connection with someone, I guess. Ah, yeah. 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 I, I could've guessed yeah, that. that makes yeah. sense. Right now, we're gonna spin the randomizer for the genre of movie we will be casting rappers in. Come on, horror. Did you just call the wheel a whore? <laughs> no, I would never do that. Wheel of fortune? <laughs> Coming of age. Yes. Now that's your perks of being a wallflower. This is your ladybird. Yes. This is your incredible Hulk. This is your Donnie Darko. Remember the Titans. <laughs> sort of, I guess. It's more of a sports movie. Yes, Miracle. Wait, did you say Miracle? Miracle. <laughs> Coach Carter. Okay, a lot of sports movies. With yes. You. Okay. <laughs> All right, the wheel is loaded with rappers. Nick gets first choice. Spin that wheel. Yes. Ooh, Cole. J. Cole. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> J. Cole wears a lot of hats. Yeah. He does. Serious character as well. He knows how to rap. He knows how to play basketball. Yep. Yes. I think J. Cole would be a good character to be like the the best friend or maybe like bro to the main character. So okay. I'm going to put him in the second spot. I think that's great casting work right there, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Supporting role for J. Yeah. Cole. Graydon, you're going to go second. You're going to allow me to have second pick? Oh, absolutely. All My right. pleasure. Oh, you got Young Thug. <laughs> free YSL. Yep, free YSL. Wow. I think Thug's like the obvious perfect villain. Ooh. Oh. You know what I mean? Can't you see Thug like petting the cat in <laughs> yeah. the spinning chair? Right, yeah. He turns around, he's like speaking slime language, and then they're like, no! <laughs> All right. This is a coming of age film though. So yeah, this is a that. coming of age oh, film. Oh yeah, Gotta I remember forgot. that. Gotta remember that. Drake! <laughs> Drizzy Drake. Now, a lot of people would put him at the star. He is kind of the star of the show. But yeah. this is a coming of age film, and I think what's important here is that he's 40. And putting Drake at my lead role, a little too obvious for me. Yeah. Okay, I, everybody thinks he's a star. For me, he's the love interest. Yeah, Ooh. I like it. Lover boy. Yeah, lover, certified lover boy. Love yep. it. <laughs> I'm loving that boy too. <laughs> Talking about our buddy but bud over here. Our, our buddy bud bud. Our bud? I couldn't think of a nickname for you. Yeah, our bud's of... pretty good though. It's like the dog who plays basketball and hockey and football and baseball and tennis and squash and racquetball and oh. they should do a grown up air bud where he just shoots pool and dive bars. And he's really good, but he doesn't like, get no love for it. He steps out in the back, smokes a cigarette, and he's like, <laughs> he rips his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> he howls up like <laughs> All right, Nick. Is that oh, Y and J? Yeah, you got Y and J. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Flint rapper. Yeah. He's a rapper from Flint, Michigan. He's very funny. Have you Ooh. ever heard of Coochie Land? I think I may have. Coochie Man? This is the yes. Coochie Man. This is the Coochie oh, Man. Oh, the Coochie hey. Man. Oh, I'm the Coochie is, okay. Man. Yeah. And when he messes up his bars, he goes, ah, fuck. And restarts. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, in Wait, the song. I want to listen to him. Oh, he's really good. Should I we play he... him a song really quick? Like a quick minute? Yeah. How the fuck I'm still independent? They can't sign me. <laughs> <laughs> he gets like angry. All right, so that's Y and J. What are you doing with Y and J? I think he would be a good spot as the villain of the movie. You know? Oh, okay. I that's can see that. Yeah. With the ad libs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because I feel like he could kind of lighten the mood of the coming of age film a little bit. Because right. The villain doesn't need to be this like really truly evil person, you know? Yeah. We're just trying to grow here, you know? We're exactly. Up, so. And if anything, what you learn in coming of age movies is that. 
the villain, really kind of the victim themselves, you know. Uh, <laughs> why, why would that have to do with anything? He was talking about something else. Uh, oh, he never speaks <laughs> English in these videos. It I mean, yeah, that. whatever, you know. Uh, let's ride, movie fans. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, give me Brad Pitt. Okay. All right, this is SZA. Ooh. An amazing singer. I feel like SZA's gotta be my star. is my Forrest Gump here. Yeah. Oh. Moving through life, kind of just like everything's happening around her. She kind of leads this perfect blissful life. And then all the chaos around her is kind of the, you know, my subplots. Are you gonna do the Hollywood classic where like you have her play someone much younger than her? Cause like a coming of age yep. film starring a 32 year old is kind of weird. No, she, yeah, she'll play like an 18 year old. Oh, okay. A <laughs> freshman year of college. She's like leaving her small town. Right, right, right. Strong family unit. She was kind of like a big shot in the small town. Like she knew how everything worked. Right. She made a leap of faith and is going to school in the city. And now it's kind of like, oh, maybe this isn't what I wanted, but maybe it's what I need. Ooh. You know? Yeah, no, I feel that. Yeah. A lot of drugs too. Yeah, oh, a lot of drugs. Brother. Me, yeah. <laughs> oh, and Ellie Choppa. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. You know what? I think Annalie Chapa has to be my second man. I think that's a perfect casting. He's a supporting role. He's comic relief. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of like, he's kind of like Darius in Atlanta. Yeah. You know, he's peddling a little bit of that cosmic rebirth and kind of uh -huh. like we're in touch with the animals and the plants, sage. that sort of thing. He's like waving sage around mm -hmm. and he's taking mushrooms that. the whole time. Yeah. It's just the kind of stuff you'd be doing. Yeah, totally. I think that's the right casting, Riley. I was going to suggest it myself because I want everyone's movies to be good. Yeah, I don't want three. I don't want one good movie and two shit movies. Movies, you know? Yeah, I'm in it with my brothers. We are the future of film. Do you yeah. think Scorsese goes and watches a new Michael Bay movie? Yeah, hell no. Oh, okay, oh. never mind. You think he does? Yeah. What do you mean? He like sits in a big leather chair and shits on it the whole time and drinks like brandy. It's <laughs> like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, wouldn't have done that. Too many explosions. <laughs> Oh. Young Lean. Oh, Young Lean. Okay, this throws a wrench into everything, maybe. Uh-oh. <laughs> God, I mean, okay, so we've got a directorial spot for him, a yeah. star spot, or he could be the love interest. Right. Yep. <laughs> Why was I about to write him in the director's spot? Like, hey, that'd be a good spot for I think him. that is a good spot for him, but I mean, it's What makes you guys think that's a good spot for him? Um, he's from like the Nordic countries and they're very chic and stylish. He might have like a good eye for like a composition, you know? He does. Aesthetic's a huge thing for him. Yeah. He does great music videos. He also like very much brands his album eras with like this kind of, okay. like, everything kind of sticks together. It's very thematic. I could see him being a great director actually someday. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one no one said making movies was going to be easy. Mm -hmm. You told me that. Oh, shit. But this morning we woke up and you said, come on, Nick, get to the studio. Making movies is easy. Yeah, I did say that. I mean, do you guys have any advice for me personally? Like context I could know that. I mean, you got to get me. Context. Um, do you know who he is? Like, <laughs> not really, to be like, honest. Oh, bitches come and go. Bruh. But, but you, you know I stay. Happy 1 million subscribers, young lean. Excited to see your golden flag. <laughs> is that him? Yeah. You know, I really see the vision here, mm -hmm. and I think that Young Lean could definitely direct my movie. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm penning you in, Young Lean. Oh yeah, by the way, we are gonna do a Bueller scale. Yeah, obviously. So it's like, is this movie going to be better or worse than Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off? That's kind of the metric the fans and viewers can use. Yeah. If a movie surpasses Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off, mm -hmm. that's when you give it two to six big thumbs in the comments. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are you talking? Talking about. It's okay. Well, it's a scale. Okay. It's an eight thumb scale from yeah. one to eight, six being the highest, two being the lowest. Yeah. And it's also on the Bueller scale. Any thumbs means it's better than Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off, Correct. but then you can only go up to six thumbs, which is kind of uh, on the eight thumb scale. That's kind of like good luck Chuck range. Why can't you go higher than six if there's <laughs> eight? Because well, it's two to six. Well, no, out I, of eight. Yeah. It's. it's <laughs> so two is the first amount you can pick. Yeah. Well, it's a scale of one to eight, six being the highest, two being the lowest. Because one is is Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. Seven and eight is kind of like good luck Chuck and click. Click. One, 21 thumbs. Thumbs. 
Lay down your pops. I'm going to lay down a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fart. We're like 21 bums rubbing <laughs> ass in the studio. What is up with you guys today? Boulevard of broken fucking farts. <laughs> farts. Hey. Oh, you got Babytron. Babytron. Whoa, that Detroit cool. native. Yeah, let's go. I like Babytron kind of as like SZA's first friend <laughs> when she makes it to college. Yeah. She's yeah. like, am I going to fit in here? And he's kind of like in the hallway in his Cartier's. And she's like, hey. And he's like. What's up? Want me to show you around? And like <laughs> they hop in the scat pack and like go around the city. Yeah, totally. I feel like in that movie, he's definitely gonna be like smoking up against like a locker. I don't know if there's lockers at yeah, college, yeah. but no, for I'm some with reason you. at this college, yeah. he's lockers. <laughs> he's I'm with you. And he's up yeah. against the lockers and he's like smoking weed in the school. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And he's like, What's up? You new here? And at first you're like, wait a minute, is there a little chemistry here romantically? No, no, just no. friends. Yep. It's like a Gordo and Lizzie McGuire situation. I haven't seen the fi finale of that show, but. And it might seem like Baby Tron's like, you know, smoking these laissez faire attitude. Right. But he's actually like really whip smart. He's there on like a full academic ride. He's yeah, like wow. hacking. Yeah, he's got computer science chops. Yeah, and he's not hacking to make his grades better. He's hacking to make his ops grades lower. <laughs> Whoa. He's like failing people out of school yep, that he yep. doesn't like. Modern day Robin Hood. Yes. Oh, oh my. shit, I got ludicrous. Luda. Oh my god. <laughs> Luda. Spit ridiculous. Okay, um, <laughs> shit, I either gotta make Luda fall in love with Drake, god, I gotta make no Ludacris the villain of the movie, or I gotta make him the director. And while I do love his music videos, I'm not gonna put him at the director's chair. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make him the villain, okay. and I'm gonna make him a mean old dad. He's kind of like the dad who is like not only mean, but problematic. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. gonna be driving around drunk, yep. he's gonna be doing a bunch mm. of objectionable things, he's gonna be treating his daughter, who could be the star, like shit. Let me pitch you an idea. Sure. Maybe Luda says, you shouldn't be hanging out with those people. You know what I mean? <laughs> And they're like smokers or like skaters or surfers. Like you said he was kind of problematic. Right, I did, yeah. Maybe Luda's like urging his child <laughs> yeah. to not hang out with. So he's skate phobic is what you're skate -phobic, saying. Skate phobic. He's skate phobic. Exactly. Ooh, exactly. Yeah. That's good. He's like, quit hanging out at that fucking park. Quit yeah. hanging out on that fucking half pipe. The thing about my movie is it's almost a comedy because it's funny how fast Ludacris gets furious. Oh, he's got quick temper. Yeah, yeah, quick tempered guy. Stop going to the skate park! <laughs> Stay the fuck off that half pipe! If I get you at Vans one more fucking time, I'm gonna throw your phone off the wall! Take that grip tape off of your skateboard! And the wheels too! Tony Hawk is a bitch! <laughs> Let's go! Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. For a coming way. of age movie. Yeah. Yes. God, is she gonna be able to play a high schooler? <laughs> Absolutely, she will. Yeah. Ooh, okay, this is a, a tough positioning because I either need to put her in the star role, uh -huh. and you know that is it's obvious almost. Yeah, and that means that her supporting character would be Jay Cole. So I have to think about their chemistry with each yeah, other. Yeah, that's, that seems weird, yeah. And then the love interest mm -hmm. takes a little bit of reins off of the whole, you know, coming of age, age problem. <laughs> Not that it can't be an older audience. Or what if your star is like 18 and then she just plays her normal age, which is like 40. Yeah, it's just like licorice pizza. Problematic age gap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big time. For sure, 25 and 16. Like 16. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna put the queen. Oh, just writing queen. Yeah, nice. In the love spot. Nice. My love spot's my nipples. Oh my God. <laughs> nice, man. Graydon, you got yeet. Oh. Your favorite. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, those are interests. Is on Yeet love interest? I was so excited. Then you let him direct. Then let him direct if you don't want him to be the love interest of your main. <laughs> let him direct? Yeah, direct it. Direct it. Yeah, that Wait. movie's gonna look really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do some maneuvering. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make Thugger my director. Oh shit. I was, I was actually I, I gonna say. I think aesthetics wise, you know, that makes a lot of sense to me. And I'm gonna put Yeet at the villain spot and I'm gonna kill him off early. <laughs> And like all good movies, the villain dies. Where's the tension happen? Gonna, like, what's gonna it happen? It kind of goes to his second in command, who's like an evil chameleon. <laughs> an evil chameleon? You'll get it. It's a bit of a stretch, but I'm But do you mean like it. a chameleon like he's as an actor, or do you mean like it's literally a physical It's so like a little lizard. The little lizard. Because <laughs> remember how I had Young Thug with the cat? Yeah. Now I have Yeet with his evil lizard. And when Yeet dies early on, people will think, oh, no more problems left in the movie. <laughs> And then the chameleon kind of escapes slowly and with its eyes all over the place, you know? And then another kind of storyline unfolds. 
Are you excited, Riley, for your next one? Star? Yeah, stop talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson Pack. I got Anderson Pack, and I love this fit for him. Yeah. Um, Anderson Pack's got to be my star. Absolutely. He is a star through and through. He's built for it. Him and Drake. Mm, I, I mean, this is going to be something. You know what I mean? And a coming of age film where we have two late 30s men falling in love with each other is pretty interesting. I think in 2022 it works. Right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I was going to say the it same works. thing. And listen, this movie is a make or break. Whoever directs this is yeah. going to determine the tone. Yeah. It's going to determine, honestly, how it goes over with an audience who may not be ready for it because this is a forward thinking cast. Yeah. You might think your movie is forward thinking, but you're the only one without a woman. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> Ask the randomizer that I use to cast all of my movies. Oh. It's not my fault. I use a randomizer wheel. I hire a third party to get all my signatures. How would I know they were all fake? I have a recruiter. Fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Why the end I'm here? Dude, why is, what, what in this movie sucks? It kind of makes sense. Yeah, I can I see J. Sense. Cole being Namir's like older kind of mentor buddy. Yep. Shows him the ropes, introducing him to Nicki Minaj. They fall in love. Yep. Y and J is Nicki's ex. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I can see yeah, this. Yeah, I can totally see this. And yeah. Young Lean is pulling the strings. He's, yeah. he's, he's puppeteering the whole thing. A good thing. director drinking espresso, you yeah. know, yelling at people. Action! I think this works. I think man. this is a good movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys can keep on yanking my chain. I know it's not a good fucking Well, it's like good if you're, it's on cable and it's halfway through right, and you're like right, folding right. laundry. It's cool to see the rappers try. <laughs> <laughs> like that's like the good thing about yeah. the movie for this one, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, what is your movie rated? What is it called? And do you want somebody to do the soundtrack? Yeah, so I think the soundtrack I'm going to do a little bit of a budget save here and put <laughs> Young Lean on the soundtrack. Oh, I like that. I think he could do really good, yeah. like coming of age, but like a modernized version mm. that feels good. Okay. So my music will be Young Lean. Totally. Okay. The rating, I think we're going to go with an easy PG-13 here. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's easy yeah, to like a PG-13 yeah. one. It yeah. is going to be a high school flick. Totally. Yeah. And then I think the name of the movie, what was that? Um. He constantly doesn't speak English in these man. videos. Just, yeah. just name the movie. <laughs> just name the movie. I'm going to call it Lilacs on a Wednesday. Lilacs on a Wednesday. I like it. I think like you don't know until you watch it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those no, like you again wonder. You're like, well, what what could that mean? Yeah. What, what, who wrote that poem? You know. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. It just seems like I know my movie is not the best. Okay. Yeah. Just give G Ed his next thing, and we can move on. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he's an actor. It's yeah. Ice Cube. Ice, ice Cube. cube. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we there go. yet? Are yes. we there yet? There. Are we? I mean, he is a bad actor. Yes. Come on. Oh, no. He's Come not on. good. Okay. But he's not going to say much. Ice Cube's going to be my love interest, and he's like, <laughs> he's like a, he's a captain on the football team. You know what? <laughs> Professor. Oh. Oh, God. Yes. Yep. Well, it is a college. <laughs> Bing yeah, bong. it's still weird though. I don't so it's uh, moves <laughs> to the big city. Yeah, there's a freshman in college and falls in love with her professor. <laughs> Civics, Civics, professor. Yeah. <laughs> All while being best friends with Babytron and being antagonized by Yeats Chameleon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a big time rated R. Like I said, there will be a lot of death in it, totally. a lot of drug <laughs> use. The music is going to be done by Diplo. <laughs> No, the Diplo pick is good, though, because he loves acting younger than he is. I'm going to call it click, but like social clicks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's so good. Click. Click. <laughs> Who's directing my movie? <laughs> Lil Durk. <laughs> that makes sense. Lil Durk. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, um... <laughs> Totally. Lil Durk is going to be directing this movie. That Absolutely. makes a lot of sense. Okay. I see a lot of chemistry on Riley's cast here. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cast chemistry. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that kickflip. Why didn't you fall in love with skiing? Lords of Dogtown is an overrated movie. Yeah, it is though. Rating, soundtrack, and title. Soundtrack, right off the bat, I'm gonna go with Explosions in the Sky. I like it. Okay. It's kind of like the coming of age, like instrumental post-rock. It's gonna be very like lots of moments that are gonna make it like tearjerker moments. Uh -huh. Almost like an annoying out. Yeah. Like to the point where like it'll be kind of like a funny scene that all of a sudden the music gets very inspirational and you're kind of like wait a minute am I supposed to like be feeling something here? And you're like dude they were just doing a scene where they were ripping J's on the side of the school. I'm gonna go PG. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
I mean, have a children's movie. Well, that changes but, the tone. <laughs> it changes everything. So no doobies. No <laughs> doobies, no ludicrous yelling and no, swearing about wrong, skateboards. Wrong. You're completely wrong. Ludicrous is still going to be yelling. It's just going to be bleeped out. Oh, <laughs> you're going to put an actual sensor in yeah, the, yeah. and you're going to like pixelate his mouth. Yep. Skating is beep stupid. Like that. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Go the beep to your room. Oh, wow. Something like that. Maybe okay. they could still smoke weed, but you could pixelate the joint and the smoke coming out of the joint as it goes up. Yeah. So no one knows what it is. Yeah. <laughs> What's the title of your movie? Movie, Riley? Let me think. Oh, okay. You guys are gonna like this. Okay. Half pipe dream. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. I don't like the bleeping and the PG stuff, but I will You'll get title. used to it as the movie goes on. So let us know who made the best movie in the first round. Now we are going to cast YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys gonna do this? Are you gonna know these YouTubers? We we'll probably know some of them. I, can I help will. Then you can help us yeah, out. You help yeah. us out. I'll mm -hmm. explain their vibe. Yeah. This is awesome. We're gonna spin the genre randomizer once again. Let's see what type of movie we're making. Let's go. What are you open for, Graydon? I hope horror, man. I want a horror flick. Ooh. <laughs> Courtroom drama. Oh. This is yes. good. This is good for YouTubers. A very good for YouTubers. Absolutely. <laughs> I like this a lot. Dude, this is gonna be so good. That is a great pick. Nick went first last time, so Graydon goes first this time. Give me Mr. Beast. First we've got... Okay, James, James Charles. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, sisters. <laughs> BBL. I'm trying to decide if my star is gonna be like the prosecutor or like an attorney in general, or if it's, you know, the person on trial. You say mm. an attorney in general or an attorney general? <laughs> attorney in general. Yeah. Two very different yeah. things. Yeah. Very <laughs> different, very different, yeah. I think JC committed the crime here. <laughs> JC's gonna be the villain. JC has committed many crimes, yeah. that's true. JC's got a lot of money in this movie, hired the best defense defense lawyer and committed high treason. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like smoked a bunch of weed and turned on his friends? No. Oh, you said high treason. So oh, it was just, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, not the same thing at all. No. Right. Riley, why don't you do, why don't you grab your first little YouTube bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ben, ben Shapiro. Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> he, count, he counts as a YouTuber, absolutely. I mean, this is perfect for the courtroom. Yeah, yeah. totally. A maestro of debate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of villains. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like be very easy to slide someone in at the villain. And I don't really like Ben Shapiro as my villain. I don't think it's fair. Oh, wow, okay. I am gonna put him at the supporting role only because he is going to be one of the lawyers. I have to mm, cast yeah, the rest yeah. of the movie to know if he's like a defense or yeah, if yeah. he's prosecution, but yeah. yeah, I'm gonna put him at the two and let him be the loudmouth, effective lawyer. I like it. Oh, this is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is so. This is one of my friends. This is Chad Chad, who's mm -hmm. another commentary YouTuber. Same universe I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Very funny. Okay. Blowing up on YouTube right now. The yeah. Queen of YouTube. <laughs> and I think she is a rising star. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She could be really big. And honestly, right now I'm between star and director. Yeah. Oh, I guess, nice. I, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. She's got a great vision for things. Very. <laughs> Damn. Oh off my Off camera, gosh, that was really like loud. Off camera, like... she's very. Oh my lord. Don't fucking hurt yourself, what the bro. Heck, dude. Great friend, great creator. I'm gonna put her in the director chair. I think that makes sense. Her editing yeah. style is is, you know, that's what's changing the game. Her chair. Yeah, chat. exactly. And now let's toss it to this Chad over here. <laughs> it's a regular Chad greatness. A regular Chadaruski. What's that mean? <laughs> Who is this? Is dude, that's PewDiePie. Oh, this is PewDiePie. Okay. Never seen a video. Okay, so PewDiePie, That's let me give you the content. rundown. Yeah, yeah, please. For years was the highest subscribed YouTuber, has a lot of controversy for things that he did in his past. A lot of people, not a big fan of him. Okay. Uh -huh. But he kind of just does like, he just like talks about stuff and reacts to things. And Okay. You know. Kind of a tough character to cast here. He's also from Sweden. Director. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jordan Peterson. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> he gets 
<laughs> ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson? This is a dream courtroom drama over this here. This is incredible <laughs> stuff. This is, this is exactly Absolutely. who you want for the courtroom. All right, I'm going to make them go against each other. I love Ooh. when they debate. I'm going Jordan Peterson at the villain. Yeah. You know? He's going to be like, Your Honor, my defendant is clearly innocent. I mean, there's. A, you remember when men used to be men? <laughs> that is a crazy impression, Riley. <laughs> I, I just kind of went for a Ray Romano. I can't yeah. think of my... I haven't watched enough JP recently. Yeah, yeah. We used to watch it a lot back in the day, but lately the content has been dry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like when he was doing the prank videos. Gone wrong in the hood. That yeah, was Jordan Peterson. Yeah, 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 Jordan Peterson gone wrong in the hood. Or when he, you know, the four wheeler vlogs, like for a minute when he bought those four wheelers and he'd have those friends. That big field in the back of his house, and all his friends would ride around in ATVs and smack each other on the ass and spit in each other's eyes. Yeah, loved that shit. Or you remember that six month period where pretty much every video was going to the Supreme store and interviewing everybody in line. Yeah, you loved doing the man on the street shit for yeah. a while. Yeah, it was like fit check man on the street sort mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Yeah, like, like hype beast type content. Yeah, yeah. I really loved that stuff. I loved his old shit, but now it's just, oh, it's weird. And Tinkerbell, you know, is actually, she is porn. I love porn. Okay, yeah, Jeez, I mean, man. Why? <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> That's what I said to the guy giving me my vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow! Oh my God, you got Quadeca, dude. Both of ours are all of like our friends. Like your 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 <laughs> actors are all your friends, and mine are all of my friends. <laughs> Where would wow. Quadeca fit? It's a courtroom <laughs> drama. <laughs> <laughs> a bizarre film for him to be cast yeah, in. Yeah, totally. Real left field for his uh, film debut. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put Quideka in my love interest spot. I like yeah, that. I like that. It's a solid pick. He absolutely is a heartthrob, and with each passing day, it gets more and more attractive. And I just hope that I get myself for the star of the movie. Oh! Hey. Ow, So you got PewDiePie and James Charles. <laughs> you have the biggest creators out of everybody on the list. So yes. star-studded cast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Sean Evans of Hot Ones fame. Yes. yes. And honestly, Sean can fill any of these roles, and I'm happy about it. Totally. Sean could be hot and sexy. Yeah. You can. know, maybe like the stay-at-home dad of the person who's on trial. Okay, that's a little weird, but that's fine. You guys, yeah, he could fit there. Yep, could be the second lawyer, or could be the person on trial for murder. Who's the first lawyer? Me. <laughs> um, <laughs> were you just looking at the two, yeah. and you thought that meant you were the second lawyer? I don't know. I kind of want to hold out for my bigger star later, so I'm gonna put Sean at supporting actor. Yeah. I kind of like him as that role. He does his research. He's got tons of papers on his desk. Big briefcase. Drives an old car, but loves the legal system. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> a lot going on with Sean. Second straight random randomizer game that he's been picked in too. Yeah, he's my right. point guard. He has talked about a weird amount of times on this channel. Oh, we love Sean. Yeah. yeah, we love Sean. We love Sean. I get a little heartburn after I get past the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the bomb. Everyone hates it. It's the worst sauce. It is beyond insanity. <laughs> <laughs> we can try it later for your second channel if you'd like. I do have the bomb I think we in should. my fridge. Let's do it. Let's get Riley another right wing commentator. <laughs> 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 I got the therapy gecko. Wow. Wow. That's a good pick. This is cool. It's a really strong pick. You know what? Ooh. Honestly, he's got to be in the director's chair. I really think he can control the chaos yeah. that is Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson and kind of flip it into some commentary mm. thing on these two gentlemen. Without them even really knowing. I know. They don't even know. Yeah. It's like Alex Jones being in Waking Life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Alex Jones is in a movie. He's in an old Richard Linklater movie and he is yelling on a bullhorn out of a car. Left wing conspiracy theories. Really? Yes. That's what he plays? Yeah. Wow. And it's a movie that Richard Linklater made where he had every single frame of the movie painted over by different painters. So the entire thing is super like trippy and changing and like sometimes like the skin color is like done one, one style and then it changes what? completely throughout the movie. It's like kind of hard to watch the whole thing, but it is like, it's, good. it's an incredible. Linklater's yeah. the man. Damn, and you liked AJ in it? Yeah. Well, he only has like one scene, yeah. but he I mean, it's, it's yeah. He, he was it? friends with him in Texas, yeah. I hope you get yourself. Yeah, I hope you do too. I would kill to have myself. KSI. You've got Quadeca and KSI. Oh. Wow. They have a legendary beef. There's two ways I could go about this. Yeah. yeah. They have made up since, by the way. I want to point that out. Ooh. They're cool now. Okay. Beef is squashed. The beef is squashed. They're friends. So we could go the route of the love interest, put KSI in the lead. He's a uh -huh. star. I mean, I, I think he could do it. I think he's funny. Or I could drop Quadeca down to the villain, which is an interesting dynamic. I don't know how I would feel about him playing a villain, but at the same time, I'm trying to mold my movie. Totally, I understand. Hasn't crossed your mind to put him on the same team? 
completely flip the table. Kind of enemies turned friends. Or enemies that have to work together. See, imagine this. Imagine this happens, okay? You put KSI and Quadaka here. Next time you spin around, you get Jake Paul. Put him at the villain. Then you've got two guys who beefed teaming up to take on a common enemy yeah. mm. directed by Chad Chad. Yeah. And think about this. In the movie, KSI comes out and he's about to like do his whole shtick. And then he goes, bring my lawyer out. And the door's open, fucking pans up. And it's Quadeca. And everyone's like, wow. Whoa. Tweed suit. Yeah. And that just happened. Yeah. My main uh, demographic of this movie is people who were aware of the KSI Quadeca. Yeah, beat. totally. <laughs> the insecure heads. Yeah. yeah. The whole entire film rides on that scene, which is in the first scene of the movie. Right. right. Totally. Yeah. Where yeah. Quadeca walks through the doors and everyone realizes, yeah, this isn't my normal courtroom drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, what I think I'm going to do. Is just that. I think KSI, I'm going to move up to the lead of the flick. I like it. Totally. Which is making it more niche than I would have wanted. And I'm not afraid to go back later in the movie and make KSI and Quadeka put them in different spots. Mm -hmm. But for now, it is shaping up to be my best bet. PewDiePie, Sean Evans, James Charles, and you got... Cody Ko. Cody Ko. Who is kind of a heartthrob on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Kind of one of the top dogs of commentary YouTube. All right. He almost went to the Olympics for diving, I believe. Oh, yeah. yeah. He went this... to Duke, right? He went to Duke. Duke yeah. for diving. Yeah. yeah, Duke's diving team is... They suck. They are not doing good this year. No. Right. We were watching the game together last night. Mm -hmm. Specifically okay. didn't invite you because I just... There's something about your vibe that right. does not work with diving. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not doesn't seem to matter to the story. Too much hair. Though. That's besides the point. Duke <laughs> slipping and flipping, you know, it's whatever. I don't care. I don't have any beef about it. This big hunk of a guy is going to go at my heartthrob. Well, he's not technically a big hunk of a guy. He's like 5'7", I think. This huge honk and hunk of a man, Cody goes going at, is that how you do it? That's yeah, it. that's exactly right. You got it. Nice. I'm in love already. My movie might start where my star's already in jail, and then they get a chance to appeal, kind of undo the corruption of the mm -hmm. past. They've already served time. They're hardened by it. And Cody Coe's like the loyal prison husband. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> baby we're gonna get you out and sean evans is like fussing through papers <laughs> yeah. and maybe james charles is the evil judge who sentenced my potential star earlier and is just waiting for another chance yeah. to like double down and throw the book at him if you will <laughs> okay you got filthy frank <laughs> oh god okay i've got filthy frank <laughs> What does Filthy Frank do? <laughs> so Filthy Frank is now known as popular music artist Joji. Oh! Yes. So okay. he, he used to do very offensive content. Mm -hmm. Nice! Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. He used to do a lot of different characters. He actually put out music as someone called Pink Guy. And it was sort of like some comedy. Meme rap. Yeah, it was some weird shit. And mm. now he has taken this evolutionary. Yeah. Step. Sounds like a top 10 hit, right? Yeah. He yeah. a top 10 hit this year. Wow. He's huge. Now. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know where to put Filthy Frank, I really don't want him to star. <laughs> if you got Joj, bang, yeah. star, easy. Yeah. But you're getting Frank. And Frank, you know what? I'm gonna put you at the, I'm gonna put you at the heartthrob. I'm gonna let you be the heartthrob <laughs> of this movie and just hope to God that I get a star that makes any sort of sense. Okay. I think this really did throw a wrench in things. I it got did. these right wing guys and now I think about this though. What if the movie was surrounding the team up of two right wing guys, you know, number one and two, and then Filthy Frank could fill a good villain spot. Right. Just throwing you some ideas. Ideas. Yeah. Yep. You know what? Wow. You're wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> ben Shapiro is my star. Wow. Uh, okay. Filthy Frank's too. And Filthy Frank is my two. Oh, I got like 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 He's it. kind of like a uh, again a comic relief yeah. sort of character who's always telling Ben Shapiro like, "Hey, boss, maybe you try this." And he Ben Shapiro's like, "Shut up, you don't know anything." And then he's going at this big debate with Jordan Peterson, and it just keeps cutting in the courtroom to Filthy Frank saying stupid shit and like spilling coffee. Yeah. He's so, like, oh, "Oh, sorry." He's like skating by. He's like holding a <laughs> hot dog. Yeah. He's like going through the court, and he's yeah. like. Like, oh, oh, my bad. One second, one second. I think he's cheering for the, like, the game. The wrong. Like the, the courtroom yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of deal. I like it, Riley. I think you maneuvered around that wrench pretty well. Boom. And you get... <laughs> You get Joe Rogan. <laughs> what the hell is going on? You get the Joe Rogan experience. It's a dream villain. Yeah. Oh, it is a dream villain. I mean, against KSI wouldn't have been my first matchup, KSI and Joe Rogan. That's a good boxing match, though. I'll tell yes. you what. But there's nowhere else to put him right now. Right. And I feel like... I like it. I mean, yeah. that's some star power you kind of need it, too. Yeah, yeah. The K If the KSI stuff doesn't grab in that, that specific community, then, yeah. like, Joe Rogan is a villain in his fucking film debut.
debut. Yeah. Right, right. Huge. I'm okay. sure he's been in movies before. <laughs> don't, don't do that. That's, That's what right. they do at the beginning. That's the Joe of- Rogan experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. You do that. <laughs> I got kidnapped by really monkeys good. when I was a child. So. You got kidnapped by monkeys. Yeah, 14 chimpanzees broke into my house when oh I was eight God. years old and kidnapped me. Heartbroken. Yeah, and they covered me in glue and shaved their own fur and put oh it on me God. and trapped me in the zoo. That is awful. Did they sound like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop monkeying around. <laughs> Some of the monkey business, all right, guys? Ow. Dude, you got Gideon. <laughs> you got Gideon. So Gideon's obviously going to be getting uh, his haircut in the courtroom, right? That's what Gideon does is get his haircut everywhere. Is that what he does? Yeah. Do you know who that is? Yeah. I swear he just got kicked out of the U.S. Open for getting his haircut. He did it at a basketball game. Yeah. What the hell? He gets, does his haircut gets his haircut everywhere? Brings like a Louis Vuitton oh, thing, he puts it over him, okay. and he just gets a little lineup at like major sporting events. Right. Okay. Gideon's gonna obviously be getting a nice lineup in the courtroom. Mm. Kind of a one trick pony though. <laughs> like that's really all that's gonna be going on with uh-huh. Gideon's character. The star here. of your movie? Or no, you sure I'm gonna rearrange movie, yeah. for I sure. I think that might be a smart decision. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Gideon's always sitting down for me getting a haircut. I'm gonna put Gideon at my director. Oh, and then where are you putting PewDiePie? I'm gonna do a lot of rearranging here. This is gonna freak you guys out. <laughs> okay. Gideon, director. That's not a good move. James <laughs> Charles, my star. Okay. You specifically made him the villain and now you're changing him to the star? <laughs> it's kind of an anti-hero thing. Have you ever seen Midnight Cowboy? Oh no. Wait the fuck up, Nick. Really All right. You only have to change three letters to make protagonist antagonist. Yep. So you know. Yeah, that usually happens with words that are like antonyms of other words. Shut the like, fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> PewDiePie on my second lead <laughs> and Sean good. Evans goes to villain. What the hell is going in? <laughs> so your love interest is James Charles and Cody Co. <laughs> like I said, James Charles has, we jo- we start the movie. <laughs> It's going. James Charles is in prison, has a rapport with all, like a bunch of the prisoners, kind of like finesses his way around the gangs, you know, does things here, does things there, gets, you know, bubble gum for this guy, is like friends with the old sage-like character. And Cody Co. constantly coming like, I know we can get you out. The judge got it wrong. Yeah. All this, the judge is evil. And Sean Evans being the evil judge is just like on fire, <laughs> like a Satan type judge. Yeah. Like hot wings are still kind of a part. Like everybody's bringing kind of their thing into it. Yeah. <laughs> Sean is like, <laughs> everyone's got their stick. Gideon's getting a haircut while directing the movie. He's not even really directing. He's just no, in he's the just director's there. chair getting a haircut. He's yeah. just there. So right now we're trying to find someone to be the love interest of Ben Shapiro. Should be easy. Yeah, it should be. It should be super easy. <laughs> El Presidente, Dude, that Dave is Portnoy. Wow, I have casted quite a crew. Yeah. Here. My gosh, the gambling. Yeah, addict. I am moving absolutely nothing around. Yeah, that makes sense. This is a bizarre <laughs> movie, and Therapy Gecko is the director. I like that. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. I love this sort of thing. Yeah. Therapy Gecko is the only one who can understand these chess pieces that he's got. Yeah. And hear me yeah. out. Dave Portnoy is in the jury, and Ben falls in love. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. like the movie? Yeah. I'll get there. I'll get okay. there when we name it and the yeah. whole thing sure. sort of thing. So let's finish out your movie yeah. first, okay? Are you looking for a heartthrob too, Bell? I'm also looking for a heartthrob to go with KSI. So let's see if we can find a good match for that. Hassan! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, okay. I may also be doing a complete overhaul. I feel like I have to do the Hassan Joe Rogan romance. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that really throws a wrench into things, though. I think what I might do is put Hassan in our main spot. Okay. I think he would suck as an actor. Okay. But this is going to be <laughs> fair. I really do think he'd be a bad actor. Yeah, I can see that. No offense, Hassan. I know you're watching this. Yeah. But to have Joe... In that lover seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then to put KSI, this is the thing. We have kind of two sort of beefs going on within, you know, we have the whole KSI Quadeca thing and we have the Joe Rogan Hassan thing. Yeah. So it's like, how can we introduce these two things into this movie, these two different pairs and have them both play out as like a sort of A and B plot in the court? Absolutely. So my question is, how can I get KSI, the villain of the movie, to have some sort of interaction with my lawyer, Quadeca, who is representing Hassan, I guess, in this movie? 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Maybe Quadek is like the the rootsy public defender who's just assigned <laughs> rootsy, to the yeah. case, and KSI is like you know the district attorney. Ooh, and he wants to shut shit down. Shut shit down. Throw the book at him. Put him in jail forever. And Guadeca is just like, he's broke, but he loves doing it for the people. And Hassan couldn't afford a lawyer, so he got a public defendant. And in insecure fashion, Guadeca is not expected to perform against this no. big district attorney guy, KSI, but instead, I see, he comes out on top. I see a momentous mm. final argument scene where Quadek is kind of like nervous. He's got a stain on his shirt, but he goes out and he just, bing, yeah. pins KSI against the wall. I think this could be a big moment for us to do one of those classic movie flips where at the end of the movie, Quadeca ends up being the star. Oh, oh I see that. Like yeah. you're, you're, you're watching and you're like, Hassan's definitely the star. There's, yeah. there's a lot of attention on yeah. Hassan here. And then eventually he sneaks up and you're like, wait a minute. It's kind of a Justin Long type thing. Justin Long yeah. often does that. It's like no this. matter what movie he's in, he ends up being the star. Yeah, Quadeca is my Justin Long. Yes. And so I think in this case, Hassan <laughs> is not even going to get nominated. For, right. I don't mean to harp on that. I just really don't think he'd be a Yeah, he's going to suck really bad as an actor. It's more movie. for the posters yeah. and shit. Yeah. But I think Quadeca will easily take that supporting actor nomination and nab the award. Wow. All right, so let's name our movies, rate them, and also give our soundtracks. Mine's gonna be R again. Music's gonna be unreleased Bob Dylan songs. Songs that never really made it out, but it's like despondent, weird, sad folk jams. So yeah, James Charles had some crack planted on him back in the day, and Sean Evans is like an old time judge from the Reagan era, who's still like, you know, <laughs> war on drugs yeah. kind of guy. And then PewDiePie, and Cody Ko are kind of part of this new age thinking, you know, legalize everything. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. And so the title of my movie is going to be Cracks in the Sidewalk. <laughs> wow. <Clever. laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's big. The cracks in the sidewalk also represent the crumbling infrastructure, both physically <laughs> and politically, of America. Wow. You feel? I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah totally. Holy crap. So you really like doing that double meaning thing that you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my movie... All right. First, let's talk soundtrack, boys. Okay. I'm gonna go with Orville Peck. Oh, Orville yeah. Orville Peck's gonna be making some new age, kind of Elvis-inspired country songs. Yeah. A lot of them are gonna be instrumental, but eventually you're gonna hear that deep baritone. You're gonna right at that, that right moment. You're gonna hear it. All Rising right? action, the voice comes and in. Rating, I'm gonna go R as well. Nice, I'm nice. gonna get it R, because mine is, and it's confusing, because <laughs> this is still a courtroom drama, but it's gonna have this like thin layer of kind of parody, almost satire, uh. that makes it hilarious if you watch it with a certain eye on it. Mm. Okay, this whole movie is about the legalization of recreational marijuana in yeah. California. So it wow. takes place when that legaliz legalization is happening wow. and these guys are kind of on different sides of it, all fighting for it. Dark comedies are often the best dramas. That's what I'm saying. This movie, okay, takes place in Southern California wow. and it's gonna be called LAW. Wow. So the recreational marijuana legalization Dude, that's awesome. is an LAW. Yeah. But if you spell that out for me, can you spell that out? Can you say what that spells? Law. And also, it's about weed in LA. LA and the W stands for weed. That's a triple on time. Exactly. So my movie is going to be straight to TV. TV 14 is going to be the rating. <laughs> oh, I, like I like it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Courtroom TV drama. Yeah. yeah. And the soundtrack is just going to be the soundtrack from the social network. So we're probably just going to take that and probably oh. put it in different <laughs> scenes. I like it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So the movie is about how Hassan goes on a campaign to basically try to outlaw swearing, you know, saying swear words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, cursing. Yeah. Cussing. You know, it, it intertwines with all these relationships in his life because his, you know, his partner is Joe Rogan. Yeah. yeah. And he sort of has this weird free speech angle on it where he's mm -hmm. like, I also don't agree that we should swear. I think swearing is bad. Right. They say that a lot in the movie. Swearing is bad is like kind of the main mantra. Yeah. It's like a slogan, yeah. Yeah, swearing is bad. Got it. Yeah. And so <laughs> Joe supports him, but then there's sort of this weird tension where Joe's like, I don't think this is the best way to do this. Mm -hmm. And then, right. but they always end up having the angry sex. sex. Yeah. 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 And so what's the title? Well, the title is called Swear Jar. <laughs> I knew it was going to be Swear Jar. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I really did. I was like, it should be called Swear Jar, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, come on. That's classic. Yeah. I mean, hey, I love it. I think it's great. Oh, I hate it. I'll never watch it. Ooh, really? Yeah. What do Divisive. You know? yeah. That's the thing you want to be as a producer. Yeah. yeah, because then you get people in the comments of the TV show yeah. saying, mm, I don't really like this. And then you have people like Riley uh -huh. going back and saying, oh, you're a freaking idiot. How could you not like a show like this? Yeah. I wouldn't say that if swearing's illegal. I don't want to get In this show, we don't actually believe, do you actually believe swearing? should be illegal. <laughs>
All right, let us know how we did on the Ferris scale. Again, it's a scale of one through eight thumbs, six being the highest, two being the lowest, okay? Let us know if any of these movies would be better than Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off, yep. and let us know which is the best of our three. Yes. And let's get on to our last movie that which we're gonna be is? casting today, which is Food Mascots. Oh, oh let's yeah. go! All right, let's get our genre. It's a Kung, Kung Fu. Fu movie? A martial arts movie. <laughs> this is really good for food masks. I think so too. And there's a lot of discourse on the internet about whether you could beat up certain food mascots. Yeah. So let's get make them beat each other up. And there's oh, kind yeah. of like an indestructibleness to a lot of them. So yeah. you can really oh, yeah. fling these things around. They're hitting walls. They're bashing through buildings. They get run over by cars, shot by guns, <laughs> stabbed <laughs> by swords, get polio, get good again, and then <laughs> come back, lose an arm, gain an arm, get <laughs> ran over again by a car, get polio again, and then... Die of a headache. <laughs> you should change your channel to high five. Here we go. You're first. You're first, Riles. All right, I'm casting the first mascot. Let's see. <laughs> I got little Caesar. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Detroit's very own. Yes. The official pizza of the NFL. Wow, really? Yes. Yeah. But isn't Detroit more Jets? It's the New York Jets. <laughs> We're the Lions over here. Oh, last time at the pizza, it's Detroit style pizza. It's my favorite pizza. Well, it's Detroit style pizza, but Little Caesars is like literally a Detroit company. You it know? is like the pizza magnate that runs the revitalization of the downtown. He does have a yeah. weapon too. Oh yeah. And the Illich family done a lot of good things actually. Yeah. Paid know. Rosa Parks rent and didn't yeah. even talk about it. That's what Little Caesars did. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that made me feel like a main character in a movie. What am I gonna do with little C's here? Right at the star, please. You think so? He's got the staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Pizza, it, pizza. It's a kung fu movie. <laughs> yeah. Pizza, yeah, you're pizza. right. You know, I think in any other scenario, <laughs> I'd be putting little C's at the two, maybe even the villain sometimes. Yeah. But in the kung fu movie, he's got that little weird pizza staff. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the star. I don't know if we're gonna get another character with a weapon. Also, a lot of stuff you can do with the fight choreography there. A pizza on a staff? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Spin the pizza around and then it's gonna start shooting like blades out of it and then he's gonna stab that and then hit somebody across the face with it. Got sauce all over their face. The shurikens are the pepperonis. Yeah. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's so many of them. That's a lot. <laughs> It was a meat lover's pizza. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. a lot of it. Lucky Charm? Yeah, you got Lucky from this, Lucky Charm. Is that his name, Lucky? His name's Lucky, yeah. Okay, looking at him in his little suit jacket, I am really feeling some management, like, uh. you know, looking over. I think I would be lucky to have Lucky as a director for my movie. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want a leprechaun to direct your kung fu movie. <laughs> it's not bad. It's a good call. All He's right. magical. <laughs> He's got bottomless finances. He's sitting on gold. Do you think the director funds the movie themselves? If they want to do a scene so bad that the producer can't afford and he whips out a big gold coin, he says, make it fucking happen. <laughs> That's to you. You catch the coin, you're like, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Lucky, we'll get 10,000 extras and that camel loaded with firecrackers. <laughs> you know? Who did I get here? Oh my oh, god, I got Cinnamon. You got Cinnamon. Okay. Wow. From the Applejacks franchise. Yeah, yeah. Cinnamon, not very like physically imposing. No. I don't see Cinnamon like really being great at stunts either. I need my star has to be able to do their own stunts and be electric and mm -hmm. athletic. I'm gonna be real, you could use Cinnamon as a weapon in the movie. That's exactly why Cinnamon's gonna be my second. Yeah, I knew that was coming. You know what I mean? He's like here to help, he brings everything, and then when you're in a real pinch, <laughs> you grab him and he's like, wow! Wow! That's like, not what his voice sounds like. He sounds it's like it's like an offensive Jamaican accent. Well, yeah, yeah, but in this movie where he's being spun around like a bow staff, he's going. Wow! Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Chester. Oh, yes. Woo! Oh my God! It is tough to imagine him anywhere but the star role. That's a problem for me. It's good, really tough. And you know what? It's gonna be my villain. Kung Fu movie too. Your lead role doesn't have to talk that much. Pizza, pizza. Exactly. That's really all <laughs> Little C's has to I say. I know. Yeah. And yeah. kick ass. And most of your dialogue can be done by your villain. And those shades and the and the predator attitude of the cheetah. Anyway. Yeah. And he's got that deep ass voice. Like yeah, he's yeah. gonna be like, it ain't easy beating Cezy. 
Oh. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't easy beating CZ. might actually be like the on the poster for the movie. Come on, give me something. I've got a leprechaun directing this goddamn movie. They're after me. Oh, you got Jack in the Box. This is a lunatic, an unhinged, yeah. unbridled, insane character. In real life, this mascot yeah. is a serial killer. He's fucked up. Yeah, he's yeah. killed a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, and I think, I mean, I don't have anything else to say. He's going in the V. I mean, obviously. He That's is like going the in ideal the v. villain. And see, I'd fuck him, though, too. Okay, yeah, you can there's fuck some Hana, yeah. Like, he's kind of like a Ted Bundy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly like Ted uh -huh. Bundy. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's like, no soul behind his eyes, and you can tell he's done unspeakable things, but there's something a little hot about that. Yeah. Maybe like a bottomless pleasure bit. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, <laughs> just like yeah. not willing to stop giving pleasure. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the Pillsbury Doughboy. Pillsbury Doughboy. Wait a minute. I have to look this up. Pillsbury. You got it, man. Doughboy. Name. <laughs> Oh, no way. Poppin' Fresh. Why would it not just be Pillsbury Doughboy? I don't know. Poppin' Fresh doesn't make any sense. You know what the Captain Crunch mascot's called? I'm gonna guess Captain Crunch. It's Horatio Margellan. <laughs> it's Horatio Magellan. Yeah. Are you, I can't. It's I'm serious. Dead. When I lo I, I was like, this is a bit, I turned to Riley, I was like, oh, is that, he's not, this is not a no, joke. it's serious. We it's looked Dude, it up. what? Horatio Magellan. Why are they doing this? I don't know. If somebody came up to you and said, who do you like better, Horatio Magellan or Poppin' Fresh? She'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Is this get English? Out of, get, out of my face. get out of here. Um, like I'd previously said, the lead in a kung fu movie doesn't need to do a lot of talking. It needs to be charismatic and able to do their own stunts. Poppin' Fresh is pretty much indestructible. Mm -hmm. He's like Flubber in that way. Yeah, he's like Flubber. He's taking a lot of shots to the gut. You know yeah, what I mean? A lot of shots, lot to, of the shots to the gut. my gut. Poppin' Fresh is going to be the star of my film. All right, I got the Pringle Man. Awesome. Pretty wow. sure he has a name too. Has a really funny name too. Yeah, it's like Mr. Pringles. I'm on it. No, I can do it. Why do they keep needing to give names to things? Stop, dude. I'm one of those guys that people are like, oh, what did you name your bong? What am I, four years old? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. No, I use my bong like a man. Yeah. I fucking stick it on my butt. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just Mr. Pringle. It's not really? cool. Really? Yeah, it's not cool at all. I thought it was like Fred Davis. I thought it was Josh. Mr. Pringle, kind of a boring choice for me. I don't know. I mean, he's got a mustache yeah. and I feel like an inherent kind of like instinctual competition with anybody with a mustache. Yeah, you know? kind of a real yeah. attitude to him. Yeah, there's just something about him that I don't like. He's so just a much. floating face. He's just an oval. He's an yeah. oval with a mustache and a bow tie. He does have a bow tie. Like, what does this have to do with Pringles, man? It's kind of the shape of a Pringle. Kind of, if you look at it from a bird's eye view. Yeah. Simply due to his lack of personality here, he's got to be the director. Well, yeah, personality from a director's chair is important, though. they got to give the movie some color. Not my movie. So, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give, I'm going to put the Pringle man at the two, and... Hope that he can knock down some threes from the wing. <laughs> Ooh, the Cocoa Puff bird? <laughs> yeah, you are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, yeah, he is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He's also cuckoo for beating some ass. Hey, yo, there we go. <laughs> and for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to put him in the number two, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what his name is, though. Sonny the Cuckoo Bird? <laughs> it makes me sick when they try to add names to things. He kind of reminds me of Michael Richards. Oh. oh, he does. He's got a Kramer energy. He's got yeah. big yeah. Kramer vibes in that photo right there. Sonny provides a good uh, Mr. Miyagi feel. Uh, I feel that. Who my main is yeah. going to be. I like that. And I want to have that dynamic of like he knows his shit, but he doesn't have the exact charisma I'm looking for in that lead actor spot. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh, Ooh, you got uh, the Toucan. Toucan Sam, very beautiful bird. Yeah, I'm gonna do some rearranging. Cinnamon's the villain? Cinnamon's the villain. That's oh, insane. Wow. Poppin' Fresh isn't even the star anymore? Oh my Poppin God. Poppin' Fresh is the two. Poppin' goes to the two. Okay. I'm gonna throw up. Kind of the trusty sidekick to our new star, Toucan Sam. Okay. A slept on part about having a bird on set is they only have one hole. Cloaca. Yeah. What? It's a pleasure portal. It's a pleasure <laughs> portal. They've got one hole where they do everything? Yeah. Everything. It's an all-purpose hole, yeah. I feel like I've learned so many things this episode. You guys are yeah. constantly like, you say this thing and I'm like, ha funny. And it's an like, educational channel. Yeah. One hole. Would you want that? Yes. Yeah. I dream of having one. And one day when modern medicine catches up, I will. Oh, the goldfish. I got the goldfish. He has a name too, right? Yeah, is he's the, the snack that smiles back. No, his name's Finn, you're right. <laughs> the whole name is the snack that smiles back. <laughs> yeah, his name is the smack that smiles back. <laughs>
<laughs> really interested to see where you're going to put this little cheesy fish. Well, um, he's got sunglasses, and while that does scream star, yeah. I'm going to put him in the director's chair and see what he can do. And it's cheesy, and it's kung fu, which yeah. often leads a little cheesy. You know what's really funny is that at the end of the movie, it'll say directed by Finn. Wow! Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I'll tell you what, I'd like to be adjacent to Statham, if you know what I mean. <laughs> adjacent to state. wow, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I'd like to stand, sit next to him. Okay. Come on, give me someone sexy. I got Hamburger Helper guy. Yeah. The glove. The glove. <laughs> the glove from Hamburger Helper. Uh-huh. A likable character fed the mouths of millions of Americans. And also gives great hybrid blowjob hand jobs. <laughs> Which is exactly why I'm putting him in my love interest spot. Yeah, that's honestly a that's a brilliant point. Yeah, that's true. I didn't really think about that. When the hands get involved, it does take it up a notch. There will be a hand blowjob scene at a couple points in the movie, yeah. at like critical points. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe between Act One and Two, and then between Act Two and Three, right yeah. before the final battle, we could do like two five minute scenes. <laughs> <laughs> We got Grimace. Grimace. Oh my God! Thank the Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. This is my favorite food mascot of all time. Totally. God, he turns me on. I mean, this thing Look is at him. thick as fuck. Yeah, he's talked a lot about this on the channel. He has like a oh. lot of fantasies about Grimace. And there is no one better to pleasure that pleasure portal of Toucan Sam than Grimace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you look up how much Grimace weighs? Sure. <laughs> I'd love to actually. I just want. I just want to get like a size. Estimate on him. Oh, he lost Wait 250 minute. pounds. McDonald's fans say Grimace has betrayed the body positivity movement after losing 250 pounds. Yeah, I remember this story. So for a long time, eating was the only joy throughout the long, lonely days of social isolation. While well, I thought about ordering 100 McFlurries, dumping them in my bathtub, and drowning myself <laughs> in soft serve ice cream. I, I actually <laughs> tried to go through with it several times, but I just kept eating the entire tub's worth of cream. I was a real disgusting purple piece of shit. Last summer, I was at my lowest. But finally, something clicked in my head, and I just committed myself 100% to channeling my grief at the thought of the hamburger burglarizing Wendy's pussy every night <laughs> toward working out. This is it official. Took several months of exercising for hours every day and dedicated dieting, but now I'm the healthiest I've ever been. And that was direct from McDonald's. Yeah, the so. hamburger was burglarizing Wendy's pussy. That's awesome. <laughs> he also says he can see his penis for the first time since the 70s. So Grimace is a sexual deviant, as I suspected. But again, <laughs> so are many people. In Hollywood. Totally. Cookie <laughs> crisp. You, we, no, wow. is it, we did this bit when I was on the show. We had a cookie crisp bit. Yeah. yeah. About yeah, sure. the dog from cookie. Not sure. We did. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Stop that. Yeah, totally. No, stop. You're saying that like. You, like it's I, a wolf. God, I'm going to throw up and then, you know. I see a little problem here though, Riley. What's the problem? I don't see how anybody's going to fall in love with this crazed dog. Yeah, you're right about that. You are sure you're right about that. I'm going to honestly, I'm going to do a big maneuver Let's here. see it, let's see Huge it. Huge maneuver. Chester right now is the star of the movie. Uh, do sense. you care if I narrate you what you're doing? Finn, instead of the, the cheese, kind of, kind of messes up a the lot. The cheese of chemistry. They're gonna use cheese's lube. And fuck yeah. Whoa, they're gonna yeah. fuck with the cheese. Cheese lube, yeah. Our new villain is, yeah, that yeah. cookie crisp. <laughs> and the big man in charge, pizza, pizza. Wow, wow, Lil C's is not even in the movie anymore. Yeah, so pizza, pizza, while well, it still will be the slogan of the movie, it'll be on there. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, he's directing Cheshire the Cheetah at my star so he can fall in love with Finn, the snack that smiles back at that penis of his. Yeah. Mr. Pringle, obviously, <laughs> is going to stay on the elbows, try to knock down a few jumpers. Wrong game. The, what do you think this is, basketball? So Mr. Pringle doesn't really have the handles to, to, <sighs> or the court vision to be a one. Oh, he's got but he can <laughs> knock down a few key jumpers late in the game. And so I'm going to count on him to kind of be my clutch guy. And then Cookie Crisp, because Chester Cheetah and Cookie Crisp kind of seem like two sides of the same coin. And yeah. Cookie Crisp one is definitely the evil one. Mm -hmm. Oh, killer for the star spot? Yeah, Ronald McDonald. Ronnie <sighs> McDonald's? <laughs> There's nothing better for Ronald McDonald than a hand blowjob from the hand <laughs> helper. helper. It kind of oh. looks like his gloves already. Like, it's just, it just would be him jaying off, but now he has a mouth in there, <laughs> like a Mary Poppins type mouth. Where there's no it back. It goes in, there's no back. There's no yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll keep going. So he's like, 
I hate science. <laughs> Shut up, you fucker. That is gross. I hate to keep going down this juvenile, disgusting sexual sure. lane, but God, we're so that going. spoon could also come in handy <laughs> in the back end. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hey. You put the silver where? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I got oh, oh, we got the little Cheerio fuck. Yeah, he's the Honey Nut Cheerios guy. I believe his name is Busby. His name is Busby. Man. Busby. I'm so sick of this shit. Yeah. They don't have to do that. It's bad for marketing. I'm gonna put Busby at director, and I'm just gonna recognize now that my movie's a fucking train wreck. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to also consider though that Busby is voiced by Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, that shit no, doesn't matter. That's a huge no, 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 no. thing. Like, no. come on, it's Honey Nut Cheerios. Lower cholesterol, it's a better. What are you going to keep eating Lucky Charms your entire life? You got to no grow way. up and have a mature cereal. There's no way you feel It's part of a balanced breakfast. That is crazy. He plays Barry the Bee from the Bee movie. <laughs> Why do they got to bury the bee? I feel like we don't need to do a whole funeral for a bee. It's just a bug. We're not setting ourselves up very well calling it the Bee movie. What if we wanted an A? Cool. Yeah, let's get our soundtracks, our ratings, and our titles of our movies. These are kung fu flicks. Yeah. yeah. My soundtrack, I'm going to do DJ Mustard and Vince Staples. I think that's pretty obvious. Wow. You yeah. know what I mean? It just feels like obvious for a kung fu movie, but I don't yeah. want to do anything too different. So it's going to be rated. Let's go. Let's go NC-17. Let's that's let them show I'm whatever. I'm going you know to. What I mean? yeah. I'm going NC-17. They're going to show anything they want. And I'm going to call mine Slice of Life. <laughs> wow. So kind of misleading. Why? The director is the. Well, it's a kung guy. fu movie. Yeah, but they're slicing. Yeah, I guess they're like that's the the, the thing, and also yeah. the director is Little Caesars. It's yeah. kind of like a triple entendre again. It's yeah. a slice of pizza. Yeah, but I don't know if the director really has. That's like a very meta thing to make your movie. Just <laughs> <laughs> name. Trust me, most of the movies are about the director. So yeah. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, okay? We got that yeah. right. So my movie is also going to be rated NC seventeen. Correct. Yeah. And then all the sucking and fucking. Yep. You can't put that under R all the time. Oh, how we got so sexual with kung fu movies uh, we all did the soundtrack is going to be done by Thundercat I want him to do just bass on it I don't want any other instruments yeah okay yeah and then finally I think the movie is just going to be called Give Me a Hand <laughs> and a lot of it a lot of it is going to revolve around the. it's a romance kung fu so yeah, a lot yeah. of it and we did talk to the council, and I think we were going to go from two love scenes in between those acts and instead do middle of each act yeah. and in between. So there's going to be five total. Five total. Yeah, five sense. total, yeah. Yeah. In five for each finger for each on the finger Hamburger Helper. That you he, fit inside of Ronald McDonald. I do have horrible news. Hamburger Helper, I'm pretty sure, only has four fingers. That's, I mean, let's check the tapes. Yep. He's only got four. Brayden? Tell me about your movie. Mine too will be in C-17. <laughs> yeah, uh, very graphic. Don't want any kids seeing this movie. Mm. Soundtrack, Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> Lint Biscuit, I love okay. it. But he's going to be experimenting with Eastern instruments. Okay, so it's kind of like a Atticus Ross, Trent Reznor version. Yeah, with a George Harrison kind of uh, <laughs> oh, sentiment. They're sitars, yeah. That's what I mean, Eastern yeah. sounds. Totally. And the title of my movie, it's going to be a little on the nose, but I kind of want it to be that quirky, fun, fuck fest that you go and see in the summer. You know what I mean? Totally. It's gonna to be called Kung Food. <laughs> That's, we all could have called our fucking movie Kung Food. Kung Food. And yeah, it's gonna be a disgusting, sexual kind of extravaganza with a lot of violence. A la Sausage Party. A la Sausage Party with Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Okay, mm. kind of a hybrid. Well, let us know how these ones did on the Ferris scale. Um, if any of them are better than Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off, please let us know in the comments. Also, let us know which one of us made the best movie. I want to thank Nick Is Not Green for being here on the channel once again, doing another great video with us. Please, please, please go subscribe to all of his channels and check out his new podcast. Make, make, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and great, would you like to leave one of the something? If you are bothered by every rub, how do you expect to get your mirror clean? All right, this has been I'm ITV, love, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Yes. Wow. Do you have brothers or sisters? I'm an older brother, younger brother. So you're a middle boy? I'm a middle boy. I'm a middle boy. I'm a middle boy. Grown up, I'm not a little boy. I just went to the bathroom and I took a little shit, old boy. Took a couple lessons so I could just play the fiddle, boy. Now I'm on your block and I'm... <laughs> now I'm on your block and I'm hitting with the crack pot. Huh, yeah, I'm gonna hit with the crack pot. Shh, go to sleep. It's better. All right, we can start the video. This shit ain't a joke. I ain't talking knock knock. Just don't wake up, motherfucker. <laughs>
Yeah, for sure. I was in the birds, yeah. Going, fly, fly. <laughs> I was a little guy driving around in the bird, directing him where to go. Going fly. <laughs> are you usually this offensive? What the fuck are you saying to me? That's offensive to people who are actually good at rapping. The white people are actually. I'd fuck She Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Lights! Camera! Action! Bronson is the first actor that we're gonna cast. I think I'm gonna put him in the villain role. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sorry, it's hot in here. One sec. Marvel. Woo! It's hot in here. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I mean, I have like an idea for your movie if you'll allow me. Is oh, go okay? ahead. Yeah, add sure. to it. Yeah. Honey Nut Cheerios, the movie in theaters this Friday. Stop trying to be me. All you want to do is be me. If you want to be me so bad, maybe you should do your own thing. Cause that's what I did when I started my channel. I did my own thing. <sighs> Fucking cock. Shake it up, baby, now. Shake, Shake it up, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please, please. Shout out, wow. Just stand a shout. Rock, 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 baby, now. Baby, baby, now. Stand here for it. Right, that you're supposed to pick the music for the movie after you finish casting. It's like an homage to Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. Well, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. I knew what he was doing is that he was coming up with a remix version for the new Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. Yeah, it's Skrillex, Ferris Bueller. There's big day off too. So when he's in the parade, is he dancing and it's like There actually isn't a parade in, in the in the second one. He goes to like an underground nightclub and everybody's doing Molly and shit and he's like losing his shit. And yeah. he's sweating and he's doing this dance move. Yeah. Shake it up. Yeah. 